I'm Sanjeev and I welcome all of you to Reinforce and Learning channel. So the aim of this lecture is to provide you a very brief introduction to Reinforce and Learning. A very very brief introduction. And the aim of this channel is to study Reinforce and Learning. Understand the working of DARPA Urban Challenge Vehicle, the vehicles that took part in DARPA Urban Challenge in 2007. And some of the vehicles are listed in the next slide. And uh, the third objective is to understand the working of Stanford University's autonomous helicopter which uses locally weighted regression and Pegasus uh, reinforced learning algorithm. I, I already mentioned this thing in the locally weighted regression channel of the machine learning that uh, Stanford University's helicopter uses the locally weighted regression and Pegasus reinforced learning algorithm. We will learn this algorithm in this channel. So these are the target vehicles and the target algorithm is path planning and navigation algorithm. The target vehicles are Talos from MIT which was placed fourth in DARPA Urban Challenge 2007. Junior Stanford University which was runner up in 2007 DARPA Urban Challenge. Uh, third one is Tartan Racing Team. Uh, the car, uh, the team name was, uh, the car name was Tartan. Uh, the Tartan Racing Team of Carnage Valley University which was the winner of DARPA Urban Challenge. And the fourth one is Stan Leather Stanford 2005 DARPA Urban Challenge winner. So the final aim of this channel is to make a new learning algorithm using the content of this channel and optimization channel. Okay, we will mix the contents of both these channels and also we will incorporate the machine learning channel and then we will try to make a new learning algorithm. The second aim is to make a novel autonomous path planning algorithm for UAV and UGV that is autonomous air vehicle and autonomous ground vehicle using the contents of this channel optimization channel. As I'm working on autonomous navigation and path planning, autonomous vision guided navigation. So I'm biased towards this uh, path planning algorithm. And so finally we will consider a project or algorithm for path planning autonomous vehicles. For NAP algo, some hint will provide in some election path planning channel. So these are our personal details. So the basic difference between machine learning and reinforcement learning. Uh, this is very crude way to differentiate between the two algorithms. But uh, we are not interested in machine learning when we are talking about reinforcement learning. So a very vague uh, explanation for reinforcement learning is supervised and unsupervised. Also there is semi-supervised learning. And uh, again a very vague definition of machine learning is learning by examples. Uh, reinforcement learning, learning by experience. This is a very different kind of le learning algorithm in which uh, an agent learns through his experience. We will consider all these things in upcoming lectures. So don't worry about these things. So these are precursors for uh, reinforcement learning channel. These are machine learning and optimization. This is a very vague uh, representation of pre precursors. But I'm not assuming you to be a master of optimization, but uh, still some knowledge and optimization will help a lot in force learning. As uh, as we go uh, deep into reinforced learning, things will get more and more tough. So these are some basic terms in reinforcement learning. These are policy, rewards, value function, and uh, fourth one is models. Uh, this is not policy. This is model. Uh, the four elements of reinforced learning: policy, rewards, value function, and model. So this is a policy. This is a very vague definition of policy. Uh, this uh, defines the agent's way of behaving at a particular time, mapping from perceived states to actions to be taken. This is a very vague definition that policy is a mapping from perceived states to the actions to be taken. This is the core of uh, reinforced learning algorithm. In the upcoming lecture, we will learn the mathematical way of representing a policy. A reward is an immediate best response for the action to be taken in present state. A reward defines the goal of the agent. Agent's objective is to maximize the reward. It is a function or set of values for each mapping of a state, state action pair. Uh, reward is something which tells you what is the best action in the present state. You don't consider the next occurring state like your state has not. You want to calculate the action A0 which is best suitable for this state. Uh, you calculate the reward for each state action pair. You choose the action for which the reward is maximum. So this is a reward. It defines the best immediate response in the present state. And a reward is something that tells the agent what is the best in present scenario, in the present state, what is the best action. 
where the value function informs the agent take particular actions that will help in maximizing the future rewards. Value function is something that tells the agent what is the best in a long term. A value function is something that an agent learns. A agent primary objective is to, ma is to maximize a value function. We will consider all these things in, in, in a mathematical way in the upcoming lecture. So don't worry if you are not getting these things. An appropriate mo model section for reinforcement learning is very important. It tells the agent about the behavior of the environment for particular state action pair. So this was all about the introduction to reinforcement learning. This was a very brief, uh, a very very brief introduction to reinforcement learning. In the in the upcoming lecture, we will consider Epstein grid methods and uh, soft max regression. So thank you for watching this video, and I suggest you to stay in touch with the machine learning optimization channel because uh, they will help a lot in reinforcement learning.